Deftones, Digital Bath, 7-string guitar method. Guitar tabs with the guitar lesson. I'm going to play all the parts right at the beginning. After that, I'll go back through and give a full explanation. Please hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to let me know you like this video and want to see more Deftones stuff in this style. And now let's give it a try. Okay, so once again, this is a seven string standard tuning. So we have the uh, B, E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, and uh, of course, this is basically taking the drop C tuning from the White Pony album and just, you know, applying it to our typical B standard tuning on a seven string. All right, so this initial riff, we're just basically going from an E minor to like a C power chord essentially. And uh, the shape we want here, so we'll be on the open E, so we got the, the sixth string here, and then we do our just basic E minor shape. All right, so we have the two on the A, two on the D, open G. And that's pretty much all we want of it. It, it actually doesn't sound too bad if you keep it going and you, know, you can throw in the extra open B and E with it. It's up to you, you know, how big you want to go there. But for the most part, we just need like the E, A, D, G string. All right, and basically we strum that, hold it for you know a couple counts there, and then we do a quick strum on it again, and then just quickly go to the C power chord, which basically here on this on the seventh string we just get at first fret on the low B, with the three on the uh, E string and the A if you like, and we're just basically moving from this shape. I just kind of like to go like this. All I'm doing is you know keeping that. E minor shape, and then just putting the index and the pinky on at the first fret of the B3 on the E string. So just basically taking on, taking off. For the second part of the main riff here, we basically just have the C uh, power chord over the top, and under that we just have these, you know, shifting little uh, melody notes on top of it. So, you know, we want our basic C here, so uh, do the first fret on the B with the three on the E and A, and then the second fret on the D string. Okay, just a straight up, you know, C uh, major there. And so we're just gonna strum through that, you know, just kind of accenting on the that two of the, the D string there, just get that clear. A little shuffling through it and we shuffle through that for a bit and then the next section we just want to uh, add in the open G string with it okay a couple counts there and then from there we go to a C7 which is basically just take the pinky down and add the three on the G And then after that, we want the two on the G. And for that, I just kind of like to take the middle finger and then just do a little bar right there. Um, 
That can be a little tricky for some people, I suppose. If you don't like that, then you can just kind of, you know, bring a bring a finger down to help, and just do like, while keeping the the one on the B to get the overall C tone there. You might lose a little bit of it with, you know, moving the uh, middle finger here from the D, but um, essentially you can just kind of just take that middle finger down from the uh, second on the D and just get that second on the G if you don't really want to try to get them both. For this pre-chorus section, I give you a couple options with this. Uh, for me, I'm cool with doing a little stretch. It's not a big deal. Um, so I like to do this D power chord we need, so just three on the low B with the five on the E and the A. All right, and it's just kind of a single strum there. And you can do it this way, where you come on over with the pinky and do a little bend on the A, bend and release, off to five, and then a five on the E. If, that's, if you can't hang with that, then you can just do more of an open chord style where we get that three on the low B, uh, mute the E, and just do an open uh, A and D. All right, and then let that ring, and then we just do a bend two on the D, little bend release to open, and then an open A. Okay, a couple of methods there if you want to try them. And from there, we just essentially have like the heavy versions of each part. Um, so just, you know, throw on some overdrive. And for the main section, pretty much the same deal. Just doing our E minor to the C power chord. All right. And uh, following that, you know, we have our pre chorus where we'd go to the D power chord at the three and fives. And with this, you know, if. If you want, you can just hang with the same kind of either, you know, method I showed you. That or the open style. Um, but I like to throw in kind of a higher voicing of it at this point, because it, it definitely sounds like they're doing just like a higher octave scale up. Uh, so I like to do it this way. It takes a little more of the pinky action here. Um, you know, you do your D power chord there and then bring the pinky down and we go on the B string, we go five, six, five. Okay, then a seven G and then a seven D. So another option for you there. And then we get our, our walk up, that second part of the main riff, you know, just based around the C chord there. And it's more or less the same deal, it's just, you know, got some overdrive on it now. 